We've come on now to John Smales Loft, and John has won the Welsh National twice. A fantastic fancier. Good afternoon, John. Captain Keith. How long have you been in the sport? Uh, since 1980. What's the circumstances you're starting up? Always had pigeons as a boy, and I've always been interested in pigeons, and you get the bugs there, you just... Yeah, it's in your blood. Yeah. What's one or two of your best performances? Um, winning two nationals, the Thurzo National, the Combine, uh, the Creef National, uh, many times in the first 20 over the years, but the biggest excitement is clocking the first time from the Shetlands. Yeah, it's Larry. On a very hard race. Yeah, so you like a long distance, do you? Um, the buzz I get is the real long ones, the Shetlands. Yeah. How far is that? Uh, 577 miles. Yeah, it's a long way, mate. Well, it's, when you get them on the day, it's, it's good. Five on the day this year is you know, it's a bit good. Like, you know. uh, this is my best pigeon this year. He was 12th National Creef, 6th National Thurzo, 465 miles. And he is a real excellent pigeon. The breeding of this pigeon, his mother is first combine from Newton Grange, and his father is a direct son of the 90, 1990 and 91 Thurzo National winners. He is a real good pigeon in the 1996 season. Yeah, what system was he raced on in, John? Um, he was raced on the natural system, but he's motivated on some races by flying to a youngster. Yeah, he likes a baby. A baby, and he. he was running up to the Queen's Cup, the best distance bird in Wales on the North Road in 1996. What system you race your old birds on then, John? The, the system I race the old birds on is a natural system. Yeah. They fly to eggs or youngsters for the long races. Yeah. No widowhood at, at all. Now, how many pairs have you got? Um, I race about 46 old pigeons. Yeah. When do you pair them up? The birds are not paired up till the second week in March. Because I'm not interested in the early races, just for the long races. Yeah, how about training? Uh, they have two or three training tosses before racing, and I would say just the Lerick birds will have a little freshener 50 mile before Lerick. Otherwise, as long as they do our morning, our night, and exercising around the loft, no more training is, is taken. You lose too many with the hawk. Yeah. Well, what do you find is your best in for the distance, the hens or the cocks? I've won well with hens and cocks, but a good hen, motivated, will take some beating. Yeah. This is a scene inside John's old bird section. And once again, the birds look nice on their straw litter. And he hasn't paired up those yet. These are a few early bred youngsters off of John Stockbirds. They look magnificent. Once again on the straw. This is my Thurzo National winner. She's a dream pigeon. She not only won the Thurzo National and the Combine, Luella Carr, but Three weeks before, she was ninth combined 16,400 pigeons from Creef. From the Thurzo National, she was first combined from 9,600 pigeons. Her sons, daughters, grandchildren are all scoring in the first 20 of the Nationals, all the way up to Lerick, 577 miles. She is a great breeder and also a good racer. She was stopped early in her life because she won the National from Thurzo as a yearling when there was only about 38 pigeons down from 9,000 on the day in a southwest wind. She's a really, You're well, what? I would put her a top class pigeon what? and also a top class breeder. What family is she in, John? She goes back on the one side, Stanbis from his Dordins, and on the other side is a cock that I bought in a sale up in Chester. Yeah, long, uh, the breeding I don't know, but uh, he proved to be a really good pigeon. Yeah. Um, what was her nest condition when she won the national? Oh, crumbs. Looking back, I, uh, to be truthful, I can't remember, but it, it was on eggs. It was a hard race. They won many down. 
How many stockbirds do you keep then, John? I keep 18 pairs of stockbirds. Yeah, what families do you keep? Um, I don't go by families. As long as they're proven long-distance pigeons, I keep sons and daughters of my top pigeons, and I buy on average two pigeons a year to go into my family of birds. I test the youngsters from them before I breed from them in the future. Yeah. But I only buy birds in that are from big performance or performance pigeons. Yeah. I'm well, not interested in buying six youngsters from you, there and no. everywhere. Not interested at all. They've got to be big winners. Yeah, I noticed you've got one or two babies off them already, so you must pay them up early. Um, the, youngst uh, the old birds, stock birds, are paired up just before Christmas. Yeah. This is a scene inside John Stockloft. It's actually part of his garage. And this loft now houses the two national winners. I'm always looking to improve my stock, and this is the Welsh Grand National Carlisle National winner, which I've opened, which will put some good blood into the Lambiangle loft. Who bred that one in, Joe? Uh, Mr. Thomas, uh, he, he passed away, and at his sale, I went to his sale, and lucky enough to purchase this which I think would, would be a very yeah. good stock in. That's what I say, you're very lucky, it was a quality pigeon that one.